According to the latest breaking news, Princess Catherine has been seen in public as she recovers from her undisclosed abdominal surgery, and it is very likely the future queen could make a grand royal return within weeks as she is tipped to make an appearance at a major royal event. The anticipation builds as speculation mounts over whether the Princess of Wales will grace the Easter Sunday service alongside her three beloved children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Princess Louis later this month. If Catherine does decide to attend this year, it would mark her inaugural appearance at the royal event since December. Now, those close to Princess Catherine and Prince William have reportedly said that the palace is accelerating plans for the Princess of Wales' return to full royal duties as soon as possible now that she's clearly on the mend. Initially, it was suggested that Catherine would not resume public engagements until April 17th. Coinciding with the return of George, Charlotte, and Louis to school following the Easter break as the ceremony approaches at its end of this week. However, according to one of Catherine's friends, had hoped the princess will make a grand appearance in less than two weeks, specifically on Easter Sunday, March 31st. One source told she is doing well, everything's on track, Easter will be the big bang moment. Another source close to the king said the monarch, who will unlikely be in attendance, hopes his daughter-in-law would attend church at Easter, but the final decision would ultimately be up to her. Because the earlier she can appear, the quicker cruel rumors will be banished. An insider said, adding, A group featuring the closest aides of the Wales team said their communications team and former palace staff members are also being consulted as part of the top-secret project. Meanwhile, a former Buckingham Palace staffer claimed Easter would be the natural choice for the Princess of Wales to make her return, as it would provide a powerful dose of continuity. The former courtier added the following Mother's Day photo editing fiasco. It was unlikely that there would be another media campaign featuring the royal, who is said now to delegate photographing her family for media handouts to professional photographers. Just yesterday, Getty Images killed another photo taken by Catherine of the late Queen Elizabeth, after the two agencies declared it had been digitally altered. The source said, We won't be seeing any more official pictures with the princess's credit. It would just appear to stir up the whole story again. The kids are now older anyway, so it's less of an issue. It comes after footage shared by The Sun showed Catherine and Prince William at the farm shop in Windsor, close to their Adelaide cottage home. In the new video, the mum of three can be seen dressed down in black leggings, a black zip-up top, and black trainers. She wears her long, dark hair down on her shoulders and chats to William. The film was a bomb to millions in the UK and around the world, but crazed conspiracy theories are still running wild about the princess proving she's recovering well. Kensington Palace was open from the start that they would safeguard her privacy and would only give medical updates when there's significant new information to share. The decision, sanctioned by both the Prince and Princess of Wales, follows weeks of chaos at Kensington Palace as it struggled to deal with an outbreak of outlandish conspiracy theories over Kate's condition and whereabouts. A royal source said Catherine and William are at their most open when they're out interacting with members of the public, and I can see in a world where the princess might discuss her recovery out on engagements. If she was going to do it, I think that's how she would do it. I think it's very likely that she's going to be much more open about what has happened. I think she will do it in a natural and organic way, probably at an engagement. We've seen William on engagements in the last few weeks.